Hello everyone, it is me, Circadia, here once again. Today on Lumiapedia, we'll be looking into the newest character, Abigail. Abigail travels between dimensions while swinging her giant scythe, warping towards her enemies to defeat them swiftly. Abigail's play pattern is centered around leaving marks on her enemies during combat. Players should look to focus on traversing around the fight with Dimensional Leap and resetting for cooldowns by exploding the marks. Let's first talk about Abigail's skills. Her kit consists of the following. Q, Binary Spin. W, Dimensional Cleave. E, Quantum Leap. R, Dimensional Strike. And finally, her passive, Tearing Blade. Abigail's passive is Tearing Blade. Abigail's next basic attack does extra skill damage and reduces enemy's defense. The cooldown of Tearing Blade is reduced by hitting skills against enemies. Abigail is able to deal a lot of extra damage with Tearing Blade by shredding her enemy's defense. Using it at the beginning of her combo allows you to have it up multiple times during a team fight. Abigail's Q is Binary Spin. Abigail spins her scythe twice, with the second spin doing extra damage. Abigail's movement speed is increased for a slight moment right before the spin. Binary spin can be used while moving, and the movement speed buff at the start of cast allows Abigail to position herself neatly within a team fight. The second hit does significantly more damage compared to the first spin, and both hits reduce Abigail's passive cooldown. Abigail's W is Dimensional Cleave. Abigail tears through space-time in the targeted area, dealing skill damage and gaining a shield. Enemies hit by the skill are marked with coordinates. Hitting as many enemies as possible is very important while playing Abigail. Abigail's shield becomes bigger the more enemies she hits. Abigail can also mark enemies with coordinates with Dimensional Cleave. Abigail's E is Quantum Leap. Abigail warps through dimensions to teleport behind and strike her target, dealing skill damage. If Quantum Leap is used against a target marked with coordinates, the cooldown of Quantum Leap is reset. Quantum Leap is a point-and-click targeted mobility spell. Abigail can use it to jump to enemies in range to dodge enemy skills, as well as interrupt enemy positions. Abigail can reset the cooldown of Quantum Leap by utilizing coordinates, allowing for consecutive uses to maximize damage. We highly recommend planning out your attacks after seeing which enemies are currently marked. Abigail's R is Dimensional Strike. Abigail hides herself by traveling into a different dimension, making herself untargetable. She then strikes while landing, dealing skill damage and slowing enemies. Enemies hit by Dimensional Strike are marked with coordinates. Abigail's biggest weakness is crowd control, but a well-timed Dimensional Strike can help protect herself from a crucial skill mid-fight. Dimensional Strike also offers Abigail another way to mark her enemies with coordinates, allowing her to combo with Quantum Leap. Abigail is a close-range test subject that wants to stick to her enemies. By utilizing the tools in her kit, Abigail can remain in the fight while continuing to style on her enemies. Abigail is fairly difficult, as players must plan out their coordinate usage and use their defensive tools at the right time to keep themselves healthy. With practice, we're sure your Abigail will be out of this world. Abigail's joined our dimension as the 67th test subject, and we hope you guys are excited for her. Once again, this was Circadia, signing out. See you guys next time on Lumiapedia.